son of a bitch. All right, so this is my ride. This is a 2017 BMW R1200 RT. I bought this brand new just a few years ago. Now, this isn't the first bike that I've owned. This is the fourth motorcycle that I've owned since I started really riding motorcycles. The first motorcycle I owned was a Yamaha FZ6. A friend of mine knew that I wanted to get into motorcycles. He was trying to sell that bike. He actually dropped off the title and said, here you go, go ahead and send me the payment whenever you're ready. The second motorcycle I owned was a Yamaha FZ1. True sports bike, a little bit more sit up, but would just fly. Had 160 horsepower, super quick, extremely light. As I started to ride more and more, I realized that I wanted something with a little bit more comfort built into it. Being hunched over just wasn't working for me. So the next motorcycle I bought was a BMW S1000XR. And that bike was a screamer. Beautiful to look at. That bike was super fun. But again, I was looking for something that was a little bit more comfortable. I found that the vibration in the handlebars for the XR was just way too much to endure on long rides. And the seat, while much more comfortable than the other bikes I had owned, just wasn't quite good enough for the type of riding that I wanted to do. So insert the BMW R1200 RT. like a push button start and a keyless ride. The sophisticated and technologically advanced RT has all the trimmings you may not need but definitely want. Push button cruise control and a power windscreen provide rider comfort while remote locking bags and an anti-theft alarm will keep your gear and your ride safe. Add-ons like seamless Ilium Works engine guards and a manufacturer top gauge protect your bike and provide great storage. Multiple ride modes and electronically adjustable suspension help you set up the bike for the performance you need. Heated grips and seats keep you comfortable. And there's enough technology options to either confuse or amuse you. Performance-wise, it has an exhaust that sounds like a wet fart. And linked Brembo brakes provide all the stopping power that you need. As a sport tourer, the RT it has all the refinements of a luxury vehicle. What are you doing, man? Seriously? A little bit weird. I I'm filming the features of the bike in kind of this cool, artsy way. You know, people people like that sort know, of thing, man. right? I think it looks like you're trying a little too hard. I, I would just come back to the outdoor segment Fine. and get on the bike and ride. Back to the roadway. The RT takes its engine from the GS, which we know is BMW's most popular bike. And just a few years ago, they redesigned it just a little bit. We've got a hydraulic clutch. It's liquid cooled, so it's not burning out on those hot days. And the shifting is way smoother. You don't have to worry about burning out your clutch all the time. At about 125 horsepower, just under 1200 cc's, it's not going to blow your doors off like my XR did, or even like my FZ1 did. It just goes. The Boxer engine is superb, handles itself really well. The balance on the bike is excellent. You feel like you're sitting kind of right in this cockpit, right in the middle. You don't really feel the 600 pound weight. You just have excellent control and you're comfortable the entire time. You get to appreciate things like the windscreen and the extra fairing on days like this where we're sunny. It's only about 40 degrees outside. I don't know what the Celsius is, sorry. I'll have to look it up later. I have it. One million Celsius. Hey, Dad. Yeah? I don't think that's right. Heated grips are, are excellent right now. Heated seat, way more comfort than you probably deserve. It's no wonder why it's one of the, if not the, best sport touring bike that you can get. That's a bold statement. I'm sure someone's going to disagree. But with the bags, with the giant windscreen, with the giant fairing, I get it. It doesn't quite have that meanness look to it, that, you know, I'm going to tear your face off look to it. But don't let that facade fool you. 
throw the bike into dynamic mode and you stiffen up the suspension, change how the power delivery goes, and it makes it feel a little bit more like a sport bike. You feel like you can really push the bike and then really start using the quick shifter that BMW put on it. Now I will tell you that the quick shifter is great when you're at about third gear or really high on the RPM. And if you're not, it feels like you're smacking into a brick wall every time you shift. And I could talk about the electronic stability control. I could talk about the ABS system. All great stuff. Bank angle ABS, so it knows how to apply that brake pressure when you're in a corner. Although you shouldn't really be braking in a corner. Brake before it. It's kind of like the jack of all trades. It just works. And it's just a ton of fun to ride. Is it the perfect bike? No, but it's the perfect bike for me. And like any good motorcyclist, you know that's what's important. It's riding the perfect bike for you. Thanks for visiting the channel. If you like what you see, please come back, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you later. Take care, ride safe. That's embarrassing.